uh, Shalom. I just wanted to get some Buna. Buna is the Ethiopian um, way of saying coffee, since coffee was was um, discovered, recovered, but coffee comes from Ethiopia, Kefa. Anyway, this was probably one of the first videos for uh, 2000, for 2012. And this is the first day of January, January 1st, 2011. So we say Shalom. Rastafari and to our Ethiopian Hebrew peoples at home and abroad in the name of the King of Kings and His Christ, Gitachina, Med Hanatachini Jesus Christos. Amen. Have you felt this pagan holiday um, drain, emotional, psychical drain? In other words, this now marks being the new year. It actually marks what they call the end of the Gentile Folly Day holiday season, you know, which really began, we can say, roughly around the Christ Mass, or so-called the Gentile white pagan um, Christmas season, and has continued to now. But actually, when does it really begin? See, we're in a we're in a little arrest. A rest. It means rest time right now from the white western pagan Gentile American Folly Day, Holi, Holi Day season. Now that this is the first of the year, a lot of folks are going to feel the, the drain, you know, economically, financial drain, emotional drain. And most of all, though some are so spiritually dead that they don't feel it anymore, the spiritual drain. Many of us who do not observe these um, white Western Gentile pagan holidays or holy days, although sometimes we may have to bow to so-called the pressure, we don't want to admit it, but sometimes one has family and friends and in-laws and others, and although they know that this is not the right holy days, they still suffer they suffer these things, and many of y'all might have had to suffer these things in this particular season. But what we want to speak on at the outset is how the being and beings that they call the devil and Satan seeks to control your life through their false and misinterpreted holy days or holidays or what we as Rastafari would call folly days. And this is what this particular um, reasoning, this beginning of the year lecture and reasoning is going to be on. Now, those who have been following the videos and checking out our videos on the YouTubes and at www.lojsociety.org, no doubt, have seen some of the recent um, time videos on quote time what time is and and how time can be um changed or perceived or distorted in the rate of atmosphere for example now if you feel it it's a little different feeling than a week ago than a couple of weeks ago now that the so-called holidays, the New Year's, all of that has has gone through. There's a lot of anxiety, you know, a lot of anxiety. A, a little point. Have you noticed that the Jewish so-called holidays always precedes, always seem to go before the so-called Gentile holidays? Have you noticed that? Even though Jesus, Yehoshua, Yeshua, Jesus Christos, Getachin, even though he was a Yehuda or a Jew, even though he was a Jew, and Christianity teaches us that Christ, the true Christ, the real Christ, not this whitewash Anglo-European Gentile Christ, but the real Christ of the Bible, of the word of truth, that he fulfilled all of the Hebrew and Torah types. And, and so he, he's a fulfillment of Torah, even to the holy days. And this is an aspect 
of the mystery of God in Christ and the teachings of his imperial majesty that we hope to touch on. Because for us, as Ethiopian Hebrews, the end of the pagan white Western Gentile holidays or folly days actually is a kind of a beginning of certain holy days for us as Ethiopians and as Hebrews or as black Jews. For example, January 7th is what we call Lidet or the Lidetta um, Iesus, often known as the Lidetta Iesus Christos, or the birthday of Yehoshua, Yeshua, whom the world calls Jesus Christ, Adonenu Yehoshua Ha Moshiach, his more proper um, Ibraist uh, Sim, his Hebrew name. That the birthday of Christ from the Ethiopian Orthodox tradition and the Oriental and the Eastern churches, the Eastern Christianity, you're going to hear a little bit of talk in the news and the media of, oh, this is the Greek and this is the Orthodox Christmas time and Greek and Orthodox Christians are celebrating the birth of Christ according to their calculation. And, you know, they'll give you a little something and that's, and that's it. The interesting thing is this, is that Christ, Yehoshua, the real Christ, originates from the East. His star was seen by the Magi or the Magi in the East, by the ancient astrologers and astronomers in the East. And, and that light comes from the East and it shines to the West. But where does it have its, its origination? Obviously, it has its origination in the East. So tell me, how come the Ethiopian Christmas, the Eastern Orthodox churches, their celebration of the birth of Christ actually is positioned after or later than the Gentiles, or rather, why do the Gentiles rush ahead and have their so-called Christ Mass, really, they should call it Christ Winter Solstice, it's the Christ Winter Solstice. Now, if you know anything about the calendar, you know, the Western, white, European, Gregorian, so forth and so on, these calendars that we, we use here in the West, so that is imposed upon us in the West. One thing that will become very, very clear, it's, it's man-made. Some, some idiots who thought the earth was flat, some European idiots who thought the earth was flat until they could decipher more of the ancient Ethiopian, Egyptian, black, Hebrew, the ancient teachings of black people and recognize, well, you know, the earth really not is not flat. Really, there are 365 days, and this is the ancient Egyptian calendar, and this is the ancient calendar from the ancient world, so forth and so on. They discovered these things, and recently they discovered the doggone people you understand, whom they thought were liars too because they were black and they were revealing to them things that they didn't know. And then they got better technology. They got better toys, better computers and, and better telescopes and better lenses. And then they were able to see what this so-called primitive people, the Dogen people, allegedly saw with their own, own eyes. Now, whether they saw this or not, whether their eyes are strong enough to see it or not, is it's in the whole of the debate. What they did see has now been justified and vindicated by so-called white supremacy. So you hear a lot of talk about the Dogon, the Dogon people, so forth and so on. But even in this whole talk of 2012 and a new age, the half of the story, the Ethiopian Hebrew half of the story is not being told. So that's just a little bit kind of that's been on our minds recently and this is our first probably video that we've gone on camera um, or in camera you understand to to film so forth and so on because personally speaking we were just we just wanted to just just withdraw from a lot of this madness and every time you it's all in the atmosphere the the, the holy day folly day season go out and buy gifts and and give gifts and it's about greed more than the real reason for the season it's about santa claus and reindeer and christmas tree and all this nonsense that they know this is the good part they know it's not biblical they know it's not of christ and yet knowing what they know they continue to do what they do so 2012 
happy 2012. This is what we want to say. Happy 2012. And all the best of the fulfillment of prophecy to you all. But let us now go into another lecture right here. And this lecture is going to be on how the devil, Satan, Ha Shaitan, seeks to control your lives. And I would say our lives, but now we become we become wise to this. Now we have a decision. Once you know, then you have a decision. You must decide what you are going to do. So stay tuned, brothers and sisters. This is Wendem Yadon saying in this so called twenty twelve Shalom Ras Teferi and to my Ethiopian Hebrew black Jewish brothers and others in Christ at home and abroad. Shalom. <laughs>